Hi and welcome to another installment of Alma Foods Show and Tell. My name is Samara Ferris and I'll be demonstrating how to chiffonade basil today. Chiffonade means rags in French because as you can see the cut herbs resemble torn rags. You don't want to use chiffonade technique with all cut herbs, uh, mostly things that bruise easily like new cilantro or basil. Uh, more oily herbs like thyme and rosemary can just be chopped. So to begin you're going to need a good cutting board. You can use either wood or plastic. We have a wood one here today. So as you can see, this cutting board is slipping, which is quite dangerous if you're cutting. So for a tip, what you're going to want to do is get an everyday regular kitchen towel, run it under the water, wring out excess water, and then put it right on your countertop. And this will keep the board from slipping. There's one thing you'll also need for a chiffonade, you'll need a very sharp knife. There are a few options out there. This is my personal favorite, this is called the Nakiri. It's Japanese style blade, it's very sharp, it's one beveled, meaning it's only sharpened on one side, not this one, and that allows you to get a really deep, very precise cut. You can also get a knife like this, it's like a classic chef's knife, except it's called, it has a grammatin edge. The grammatin edge has the little indentions here, and that's going to prevent foods from sticking. Not necessary in a chiffonade, but very handy in other cases. This will work fine as well. And this is also a classic chef's knife. It's German style, so it's a little bit heavier, and this is something you might have to be very careful about because it could bruise your basil or your cilantro. So if you do have a classic chef's knife like this, that's German style, very heavy and weighted, just make sure it's very sharp to be able to cut through the basil and not press down and actually bruise the herb itself. So first things first, uh, here's your basil. You're going to want to pluck the leaves off right at the stem so that you're not getting too much of the rib, which is this backbone right here, which is like a big kind of tough piece you're going to want to avoid. So just pluck them right at the end. Try to get the bigger pieces of basil, they're going to be a lot easier. Okay. And you're going to want to flatten the leaves out and stack them. This is step one of chiffonade. Okay. So now you're going to want to roll this stack into a cil cylinder. Long ways. Now that you have your cylinder, this is where we start cutting. So make sure that when you're cutting, you're getting your fingers out of the way. You want to curl your fingertips under and make sure that your knuckles are sticking out so that in case the blade comes up against your hand, it's going to be hitting your knuckles and not your fingertips. So you want to hold your knife with your fingers high up right here, so this will give you the most control over your blade. And you're going to want to cut lightly but sharply. So you don't want to bruise the basil, you want to cut right through. And we have basil chiffonade. 